cold front in October. Ladies and gentlemen, break out the hoodies because it's getting chilly and it's the harvest season. Um, I'm actually, I'm a little disappointed right now. I'm in a little poo-poo mood because I would love to be in a blind, love to be in a tree. Uh, it's 50 degrees outside. It's our first cold front in October. Um, but I, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, lease is not happening this year. About the only thing that's most likely going to be harvested this weekend for me are those chickens over there. That's right. We have got way too many cocks in here right now, and we're going to basically cut our flock in half this weekend. This is pretty much the state of affairs right now, boys. I, I So I just got home from a Guggen trip, did a little bit of bass fishing, did mostly trout fishing, and then I realized, wow, it is like about to be opener. And I got, I got, nowhere, I got nowhere to go. I feel like a homeless hunter right now, and this is this is my life. I'm just I'm I'm like a crackhead, just tweaking out, messing with hunting stuff. Most likely public land hunter this year, so I will stay ready to go. But the harvest must go on. The freezer must be filled. Oh, that is one thing about these Chevys, these newer Chevys, and I've noticed if something gets kind of wedged in the tailgate, I had some hay bales in here uh, a few days ago, and it like doesn't shut all the way, the next time you go to deploy it, it's going to make that sound, it alerts you, but you better get out of the way. Okay, program update. We are in the truck heading to the lake right now silver bullet attached went to bucky's cooler full of ice harvesting is going to happen so what i did yesterday to kind of feel the hunting itch scratch it i went out and i placed three trail cram three trail cams out on the public land and i'm just looking for pigs and i'm, I'm waiting for some picks to show up and until they do we're going to put some meat in the freezer with a hook and line. Wow. This lake is so low, I've never been able to use my, my poles. I've never been able to use them here since I've had this boat. It's always been too deep. God, there are a lot of boats out here today. Oh, I do see a bird of prey. Old Blue. Old Blue is out there on the point. There he goes. He was on a point, that is a good sign. Just pulled up on a spot loaded with little ones. But they'll eat, they'll eat nice. First victim. We'll give them that snacky. I think they're ready for it. Get some that are chasing, but they're not, they're not a full attack. Oh, look at this white bass school. I'm about to get yoinked by a white bass. Yep, mm, yep. I'll take you, I'll take you in a pinch, but uh, you're not on the menu today, sir. Oh, there he is. He wanted that snacky. Wanted that snack. You're gonna be a borderliner, buddy. Oh my gosh, it's down there. I don't think I have to measure him. He's not gonna make it. Just trying to swim this thing right above the brush to get an active feeder out of here. Oh, that's tiny. That's, there's a bunch of little tinies in there. All right, I'm gonna give them a little slower approach. Go with that EC. EC stands for electric chicken. 
case you were curious. Like that. We are following. <sighs> Had one. Got it. Keep. Oh, that was a good hit. Good hit, similar size. Little fall buddies. There's a good one. Mm -hmm. Oh, got you on the old snacky. Why you gotta be a borderliner, bro? Catch any? All right. Can I get a picture? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Well, y'all, we did end up with some fish. They ain't the biggest in the world, and there ain't too many of them. I mean, the optimal would have been 12 inches, about five, but we got four that are 10 to 11 inches. And I haven't gotten any picks yet, y'all. It's it's so frustrating. So for tonight, these little crappies are gonna be dinner. A small crappie, I mean, besides a walleye. That's about as pure, pure delectable meat as you're gonna get out of fresh water. Flaky little nugs. Got our fish on ice, we're gonna cook those up tonight. I think we're gonna make some golden crispies, which I haven't done in a long time. So stay tuned for that. But first, we still haven't got a pick yet. Still haven't got a pick of a pig. I got a couple deers. Uh, but no pigs, which is what I am hunting for down here on this public land. So um, something happened with one of my cameras, wasn't taking photos, uh, which I was pretty excited about because it was an area that was just a lot of pecans starting to fall. So I'm going to see what's going on with that camera or just replace it, put another one up there and just look and see if we got any new activity in the woods because I want to try to uh, to hunt that this week. So. Let's head on out there and let's see if there's any pigs that are starting to munch on the things falling out of the trees. Starting to get into some pecan trees or squirrels running around everywhere. That's a good sign. They're doing their nut collections. These big old pecans. Still got about a mile walk. To, uh, to where my camera is though, so burning lots of calories. All right, so this is where I'm wanting to hunt. It's real close to a creek bed. And I'm looking at fresh sign right now. Fresh pig. Fresh pig snorting, snooting. This one isn't even a hickory tree. They've been digging up under there. Probably for worms or something like that. There's some more right here. It's a good, like, soft, sandy soil right here. So I just put a camera up, kind of amongst a couple of hickory trees. There's some more right here. And that's what they're trying to get at. Most of them are this color right here. Fresh. I just came across some blood on the trail. Definitely blood right here. Oh, man, this has gotta be, this has gotta be fresh. Pretty interesting right there. I couldn't pick the blood up anywhere else. It was just kind of in that one spot. If I had more time, I would go 
I looked a little more, but you know what? It's golden crispy time, y'all. We've burned some calories. It's time to replenish. Coming back from the woods, and my darling's making golden crispies. She started without wait. me. I just couldn't wait. I just my tummy was grumbling. You had to have the golden. Sorry. Well, what'd you do? Tell us. Tell us what you did. Uh, well. It, actually, I thought you had them downstairs. So I went around the entire house looking for them and realized that you did exactly what you were supposed to do and put them in the fridge. Yeah, you saw me. I you know. I do. It. My mind. My mind, too. <laughs> it's going crazy. My mind, too, right now. I'm a hobo hunter. Two kids going wild right now. We're getting a little crazy in here. So, we got brain. finally found them. Okay, so I did two different things. Dry batted. I dry batted. I didn't put any sauce or cool. anything on top of it. So that's what, like, these, these three of them are? And the second one, I did a little bit of this like garlic um, Ooh, sauce. Okay. I think I've done it before. Oh, I've never. I don't. I don't recall that. Okay. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it sounds pretty good. Cornmeal, corn, cornmeal flour combo. Yes. Yeah. Homemade recipe. Love to see it. Uh, you tell me. Is that ready? These three were in first. Uh, these are starting to get a little brown on there. Those were with the sauce. How long are we talking? These were probably in for five minutes. Five, five minutes? minutes. Yeah. Okay. Give them a flip. Let me see a flip. They have all been flipped. They've all been flipped. Okay. I mean, those are small, so they're probably they're probably done. Take them out. Who's ready to go shopping? You dead. You ready to go shopping? H E B. Wish we had an H E B right here. Think those are done? I see they're starting to break, so maybe. I feel like we haven't had a Golden Crispy in this house in quite a while. We, we did a lot of haven't. bait, blackening, sauteing, a lot of that. Uh, can you present that plate over here, please? When I filleted these, they just seemed extra tender. I don't know what it is. Maybe they're getting out of that summer tough mode. Wow, those are flaky. Those are so good. You I think did, I nailed you did it. Good. I think I nailed it with the. Uh, I don't know which one I had. Ooh. I don't know if I had the garlic. Ooh. I think I had the garlic right here because I kind of have a try. tint of it. Where is it? This one? Uh huh. Wow. Mm. That's exciting. Mm. Mm. Oh, that one pops. That one. That one's a little different. Oh, okay. Wow, the flake. Oh, man. You think the first one was the garlic? There's only three of them that don't have the garlic. It's hard to tell. And I think it was actually these three that don't have the garlic. Or maybe it was one Whatever of Whatever that seasoning combo is, it's light. It's like barely salty, which I love. Mm. And it's got this just nice, upbeat flakiness <laughs> to it. I love it. That is a it's really a good golden crispy. Mm. Man, I might have to fight oh, you for these. Super light. Now you're bre now you're breaking out the secrets. No, <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted me to share the secret. We use that Cosmo SPG uh, all the time. This is similar. Um, the reason we started using this was uh, a lot of the Traeger seasonings have sugar in them, and they do not do well with fish. This one didn't, and it does okay, and it's a little more fine ground. Um, than the, the Cosmo SPG. No, there's not sugar. Oh, you're right. Okay. That's what, that's why I think it it doesn't it does, stick. Yeah, it does better. So. And then I also added a little bit more pepper. Golden Krispies with OSG. Golden Krispies rock the house. I feel better about life right now. <sighs> I feel better about my hobo hunting situation. We're gonna feed these chickens probably their last meal. Their last last meal before um, heading to the table, heading to the cutting board. A lot of these roosters. Enjoy it. Enjoy. Oh, look at them. They're just. Oh yeah. Look at those roosters. I'm I'm just using so much more feed now that I have to feed these roosters. Now that they're all big. Look at this gnarly guy. Okay, we're doing one more thing in today's vlog. So I gotta go, I gotta dump the, the fishes. All right, I always like to put them back into the lake because catfish come and eat them and all that stuff. 
We've got to keep that cycle going. We've got to keep that aquatic meat processing plant in action. So, got me, uh, got me my fish right here. I'm going to take these. I'm going to ride them on down to the lake. And I'm also going to take my binoculars and I'm going to try to look for pigs. Pigs that are down on the beach, like where I harvested one already. Multitasking opportunities. Piggies on the prowl. It's early too. The sun's not even close to going down. <sighs> Target acquired. I've seen them down there. Some juicy ones. This is what I want to use really bad. I'm ready to christen this thing working on it all spring. Off the knuckle. Wabam. Thank you for tuning in to today's harvest log, I guess we'll call it. Chickens, you're lucky. You got one more day. It's a little toasty today. I'm waiting for it to get just a tad bit cooler. But y'all, I really do relish the harvest this time of year just being able to put food on the table uh, it just makes me feel good as a dad and if you've never done it before simply going out getting a fish putting it on the table it's it's pretty satisfying something primordial about it I've actually got something coming up for you guys it's different I've never uploaded a video like this I had so much extra footage from Colorado just behind the scenes stuff and just amazing scenic shots. I decided to put it all together and make it a like ASMR behind the scenes vlog. I don't even know what you call it. It's my first video I'm ever gonna upload in, in 4K as well. So if you wanna put it on the big screen, sit back and enjoy it this weekend, stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for all the outdoor adventures coming your way here this fall. I will see you guys back in the outdoors very soon on the next one.